are these people? What, in your opinion, is the one thing you wish people could experience traveling to Syria? What have you learned or experienced since being on the ground and speaking with people in the region that miss watching from afar? <laughs> I'm sure a whole um, list of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, that's, that's a very detailed um, question and answer. I think for me, the main thing, because this is what I come up against all the time, and actually I came up against it fairly recently regarding Palestine, where somebody actually said in, in a kind of chat box in another interview, they said, um, well, the reason they supported Israel was because they don't want a Muslim state <laughs> in place of, of the Zionist entity. And I, I just, I, 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 you know, I don't know what people think Syria is or what Palestine was. I mean, Palestine was one, it was part of Syria, actually, originally, of course, as was uh, Lebanon. But it, it, Palestine was secular. It wasn't a Muslim state. It, it was a Muslim majority, but it was inclusive of Middle Eastern Mizrahi or Sephardic um, Jews. It was inclusive of Middle Eastern Christians. It was inclusive of Middle Eastern atheists and so on, communists, socialists. I mean, the list goes on and on. And that's reflected in the resistance factions, by the way. They're also not all um, Islamic, right? And, and so what I would say to people about Syria, because it is, I think it's probably a, a kind of a universal um, misrepresentation of, of the Middle East, but particularly Syria. Syria is such a diverse country. You know, I mean, I was trying to explain to someone the other day, if you go to the old city on a Thursday night, which is kind of the start of our weekend here, Thursday and Friday are the weekend. Um, if you enter the old city, it's like being in, I don't know, one of the really buzzy areas of New York, right? You've got nightclubs and music and street life and, and people, women wearing hijabs with friends that are wearing miniskirts and low-cut blouses <laughs> um, and, and Christians and, and Muslims you know, out celebrating together. And I mean, it's crazy. It goes on until 6 a.m. I mean, if you go out on a Thursday night, don't expect to get any sleep. There's techno bars. There's, you know, there's everything you can possibly imagine in one area. But if you walk five minutes into another area, you come into the Shia Islam area, which is, you think it's another whole world because it's dead quiet. So you've come from the Christian area, really, but I mean, it's, it's mixed, into the Shia area, which is beautifully calm and peaceful. And then if you cross the street and go into another few alleyways, you enter what used to be the Jewish area, which, funnily enough, most of the houses were rented by Palestinians after the 1948 Nakba. And Straight Street, which is the street, uh, the main kind of street in the old city that takes you to the Hamdaniya uh, Souk. But this was the street where Saul had his epiphany and converted to, to Christianity. So, you know, you, you've, in the Umayyad Mosque in the old city, you've got the remains of John the Baptist. This is, this is what Syria is. You, you can, you can be in the old city and you can hear the azan, uh, the call to prayer, and two seconds later, mixing with it, you've got the church bells. And again, even from a Christian point of view, you've got um, um, Presbyterians, you've got Catholic, um, you've got uh, Orthodox, uh, which of course is the big connection also with Russia. But And then if, if you extend out from Damascus, you have Ismaili, you have Yazidi, you have Druze, you have um, Shia, Alawite, <clears throat> um, and again, uh, Christians, even external to um, Damascus itself in all the areas of Syria. So it doesn't matter where you go. Nobody actually asks you, are you Christian? Are you Muslim? First and foremost, Syrians are Syrian. Their faith is secondary to their being uh, Syrian. 
but I think, you know, this is what shocks people the most, and this is what I constantly try to explain to people, that you have no idea of the diversity um, of the culture, the heritage, the history, and the people here in Syria, the hospitality that you will receive wherever you go here. Sorry, one of the dogs has set off. Um, and, and from that perspective, it's, it's one of the safest places I've ever been in also. Right. Like I can go out of my house at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. and just walk the streets. No one will bother me. Absolutely mm. no one. And that applies to pretty much anywhere. Oh, 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 oh,